Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to Advanced Art Chemistry. It's just a quickie today, hopefully just five, seven minutes. I want to talk about medicines and pharmaceutical chemistry. This is SQA pages 104, 105 and 106. Uh, right, what is a medicine? Basically, uh, a medicine is an active chemical or a drug. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, I'm not making any money from these videos, otherwise uh, instantly demonetized by using the D word. So a medicine contains your active drug, um, which changes your body chemistry plus some fillers or binders or sweeteners. I think that's a good idea. Just covering the outside, perhaps. Um, don't want these toddlers yumming up the drugs. Um, that sounds really bad. Uh, anyway, the fillers are there because some active chemicals are only on the mi microgram scale, so you wouldn't be able to pick it up if you didn't have fillers. Binders are there just to hold it together. Uh, and the active chemical can be a tiny component or quite a large component. Traditionally, an aspirin, for example, 300 milligrams in a tablet. A paracetamol, 500 milligrams, I think, for a standard tablet. So what do medicines do? They bind chemically to protein receptors on your cells or in your cells in the case of enzymes. How does this chemical binding take place? Well, it can be van der Waals forces. Uh, it can be ionic attraction. It's one of the reasons van der Waals is a consequence, or rather consequence of it being van der Waals, is that the shape of the drug has to be just the right physical shape to bind to the protein site. Um, what else do we have? We have simple definition at time. Folks, we have an agonist which mimics natural chemicals in your body and produces the same response. Um, and we have an antagonist, the opposite of it. It binds to a, a site, often binds to an enzyme, uh, and stops the enzyme doing its normal thang, so it's, it's, sorry, I'll never do that again. It stops the enzyme doing its normal thing uh, and effectively blocks the body's response to these two chemicals. That's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, as far as I can see, let's have a look at some examples of some questions based on uh, SQA. I've only ever really seen it asked in three different places. One of them is, of course, open enders, where you can talk to your heart's content about them, the stuff that's on these pages, 104, 105, 106. The other ones are simpler than that. Let's have a look at this multiple choice one here. Can we zoom in on this for easier reading? Oh, look at that, it even seems semi-professional. Antisense drugs are a group of medicines that act by binding to DNA to block the synthesis of some proteins. Which table is correct for antisense drugs? Well, they're obviously classified as an antagonist. So these two are out. And the receptor, they're expecting you to realise the receptor is a protein molecule. So that's, that's a piece of cake. Small slice of Battenberg. Let's have a look at a slightly more complex one. Uh, yeah, what do we have here? Well, I'll probably unzoom for this. Unzoom? Uh, we've got three molecules here. Noradrenaline, phenylephrine and amphetamine, oops, de definitely no money. As I said, I don't make money at this, it's an educational channel anyway. I just like to joke about it. Noradrenaline and phenylephrine stimulate receptors in the body. Amphetamine uh, has the same effect, but works indirectly by stimulating production of noradrenaline. The structural fragment acting directly on the receptor. Now this is a shape exercise here. If we look at these molecules here, then we're looking for factors they have in common with each other. Now, if they all work, then you see this benzene ring here has no hydroxyls on it. So these are not important. Uh, I see a hydroxyl on a hydrogen here, hydroxyl on a hydrogen. That is different to that. We've got a CH3 group here, which means that's not actually required which takes us to this is like playing it's like a weird game of spot the difference isn't it um it's el thank you for the bell yep that's perfect timing you finished now thank you uh so we've got an h here and a ch3 basically what we're trying to do is eliminate things that are different in the molecular structure because the things that are different if these both work the fact that that's CH3 and that's H is not relevant, which means that isn't relevant either. So we've effectively chiseled down that molecule to match up with... No, not that one, hey. We've chiseled it down to match up with this one. 
So that is our answer. I've seen this asked in a slightly different way. Um, I've seen them uh, in the past where they give you these three molecules and they ask you to draw a circle around the actual active part of the molecule. Um, this was a different example of the same thing. Um, and this is a very similar. Actually, do you know what? This is so similar. I'm not going to even talk about it. Um, we're done. Thank you for listening, folks. Bye-bye.